Hey everyone, Josh Hedda coming back at you here on YouTube. And this is the first of a three video series that we're going to take, rip away all of the garbage that you see online and in magazines on TV and get down to the basics. It was brought to my attention by somebody and it's a very good point. They asked me, what is the point of taking supplements? And so I said, you know what? That's a great question. And I think it's about time somebody does a basic understanding to supplementation. And the information that's going to be in these videos, you can take with you whether you're an expert in, the, in fitness and you've been doing your whole life or you're a beginner or you're an intermediate. Whatever level that you are at in terms of your fitness and your health, there is information that's going to be in these videos that you can take and use daily. All right. So as part of part one of the beginner's guide to supplementation, the first thing we got to figure out is what are supplements? What is the point of them? Okay. Well, first we got to look at what the word is. Supplement. The definition of the word supplement is to add on to. All right. A synonym of supplement is addition, add on. All right. So we're already starting with the premise that when you take supplements, this is not your go-to. This is not your first line of defense, your second line of defense. No. Supplements is meant to bring up and add to what you're already doing. What should you already be doing? You should already be having an active lifestyle. You want to be active. You want to exercise three to six days a week. You want to be active every day, go for walks, go and do things, and you want to eat right. You want to get the right amount of you know, food that's going to help your body optimally perform, okay? So when you think about supplements and you see a lot of these products out there, you have to understand their relation to what you're already doing. And what you should already be doing is getting enough macronutrients and micronutrients on a daily basis. Sounds like a lot of crazy verbiage, but it's okay. We're going to simplify it right here for you. Macro, so large quantities of nutrients that your body needs on a daily basis are protein, carbohydrates, and fats. Now saying this flies in the face of everything you may have heard for decades. You want to get fat free. Fat is evil. Carbohydrates are going to make you fat. All this crazy stuff. All of it's not true because it's not fat and carbs that are bad. It's the type of fat and carbs and the quantity of them that makes a difference. There have been studies that have shown that people who have between 35 and 50% of carbs in a daily diet, guess what? They have a good immune system. People who have too many carbs or too little carbs outside of that 35 to 50% range on a daily average, Guess what? Their immune system doesn't work as well, okay? But outside of that, what are the purpose of these macronutrients, these big three? Well, we know about protein. Protein is one of the building blocks of life. Over 20% of your body is protein. Protein is important for so many things, whether it's muscle function, muscle recovery, organ function. Protein is necessary. A lot of people get that. But what they don't understand are carbohydrates and fats. Carbohydrates are an energy source for the body. Carbohydrates many times are converted into glycogen. Glycogen is an energy source that is used by the brain. Also, carbohydrates are used by the energy production source of the body, known as the ATP process. Okay, so carbs, they're important. Some people, they cut out carbs a lot as a jumpstart to a fat loss diet but it's not something that's sustainable, okay? Because you need a certain amount of carbs in the long run because if your body can't get it, it's gonna find it elsewhere. The last thing you want if you're trying to be a healthy individual is your body to eventually harm itself in its search for the nutrients it needs. Same thing goes with fats. You don't wanna have a totally fat-free diet because fat is important for hormonal balance and stability. It's also more important for metabolic stabilization. 
people who don't have enough fat in their diet, they tend to develop metabolic irregularities. So as a result, you need carbs and fats and proteins in your diet on a daily basis to function, okay? Then you have micronutrients. So these are things that you need in smaller amounts. So what are they? Vitamins, minerals, and amino acids, okay? Now, saying amino acids is a micronutrient may seem redundant to some people because I said protein is a macronutrient, but a lot of times people don't get enough branch chain amino acids in their daily diets because they're either not eating enough protein or the type of protein they're eating is not very rich in ingredients such as leucine or valine or isoleucine. These are three major amino acids that make up what the supplement industry calls branch chain amino acids that you may see labels of in different places. And the purpose of branch chain amino acids is to help with the protein synthesis cycle. And the reason that's important because the more your body is processing protein, the more it'll absorb and use the protein and it won't try to find other places to get what it needs for nutrients. Again, the whole purpose of having a good diet and being exercised and being healthy is to make sure the body operates and functions the way it's constructed. You don't want your body to have to spend too much time trying to make up for different things. You know, places you get micronutrients are fruits, vegetables, you get it from some grains, you can get it from some dairy products. So we get back to the big question. What is the purpose of supplements? You wanna be healthy, diet, exercise, so on. But the majority of people are not getting their daily requirements of macro and micronutrients. And that's where the supplement industry comes in. The supplement industry is marketing vast umbrella people that need macro and micronutrients. You may be taking supplements every day and you don't know it, okay? A multivitamin is a supplement. Fish oil pills are a supplement. If you take a calcium or magnesium pill, that's a supplement, okay? If you're taking a digestive enzyme to help you with your digestion with a probiotic, that is a supplement. So supplements are actually a daily part of our world. The reality is that so much of our food is processed and developed that the food that we eat today isn't the same food that our great grandparents and our ancestors ate 50, 100, 200 years ago. And now we know because of science that you need certain things for your body to optimally function. And that's where supplementation comes in. You use supplements to add on to what you're already doing with your life and your diet. This is Josh Hennig. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, found it informative, hit that like button, subscribe, so you can check out part two of this YouTube series. Catch you next time.